What's up guys? This is Ved from the Cyber Club and in this video we are going to learn how to take awesome screenshot without any pain. So uh, many people take screenshot with the print SCR button on their keyboard and after that pasting uh, that uh, pasting that uh, screenshot in your paint application and after that editing that uh, screenshot so this is not a good method according to me and uh, to take screenshot very easily we are going to use duck capture duck capture is a very nice program and i am using this program from last two years on my window and mac also so to download the duck capture you have to go to this website duckling.com and from there you can download this tool okay so once uh, let's assume the application is installed and all let me open it okay so here is duck capture okay so let us take a normal screenshot mm, let me open google okay and if i want to take a screenshot of this particular area so what should i do like uh, if i am pressing the print scr button on my keyboard and after that open paint sorry and uh, i'm going to hit control v so here's the entire image but i want only this particular vision or particular area so i have to cut something like that so this is not a good method to take a screenshots so let us do the same with the deck capture application okay so we are we want to take a, a rectangular area so just select the area of which you want to take shot okay so this is our screenshot and uh, there are lots of option to do with your screenshot like i want to make the color of my border is uh, red and i want the width of my border is about six pixels okay and if i want to indicate something that uh, this is something is there something special in your screenshot and you want to indicate that uh, thing uh, with a uh, with an arrow so for that you can also add an arrow something like uh, this okay and you can also enhance the width of your arrow you can uh, make your you can make any color you can make it in any color like i want it to be in violet and if you want to add any text you can simply add any text like uh, google doodle or something like i like google's doodles okay and uh, if i want to change the font i can change the font color also like i want it to be in uh, mm -mm 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 brown and i want the font size to be in around 14 14 pixel and i want the font in cgo ui okay and i want it to be here i can simply drag and drop the position of any element okay and after that i just have to hit this button and the screenshot will be there at my desktop and if you want to change the default location of uh, i mean where this program should save your screenshot you you can uh, change it from the advanced options output file and you can uh, give the folder name here or any particular path where you want to store all of your screenshots and you can also change the format of screenshot like uh, i like it to be in png so png is selected in my installation and if if you want it to be in jpg you can make it jpg also okay and there are some uh, keyboard shortcuts 
okay and one more thing uh, there are some there are uh, there are some other great tools also like uh, scrolling if you want to capture entire web page and uh, full screen if you want to take a screenshot of your entire screen you can do it by by that and uh, polygon let us see what we can do with the polygon okay 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 so i think mm, so if you uh, if you're not sure i mean the area is not a triangle the area is not in the rectangle so you want to take a screenshot of uh, any area something like that in that condition you can use the polygon tool like i want to take a screenshot from there there like there okay so there it is in triangle my screen uh, my screenshot in triangle is here and i can save it on my desktop so this is a great tool and uh, there are some other things let me show you like uh, okay screenshot is here if you want to add any picture in that uh, in that screenshot you can do it from here and uh, there are some other things also like rectangles if you want any rectangle you can make it if you want any polygon you can make any polygons okay you want to make any circle you can make circle and any time if you want to drag and drop the any particular element you just have to press in the middle and uh, you can drag and drop that element okay you want an ellipse you can make an ellipse and you want to write some text so you can write any text so i think you like that tool because uh, i when i uh, when first i saw this tool uh, i, I fell in love with that tool because uh, i have to make many ppts i have to make an, many tutorials since i am a trainer so this tool is a life saver for me and maybe it will help you also to manage your screenshots and all so guys if there is any question about this great tool you can comment it or you can mail us each and everything is in the description and uh, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button so thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you